Hey, it's Carefree Beach Bum, back with another Traveler's Rest video. It's actually been quite a while since I last played this. I think the last time I played was, yeah, the last time I was recording. So, definitely been a while. I would like to get into this game a lot more often, because it's always a little hard coming back to a game when you have to kind of look around and see what needs to be done. Where where we're all at with things. I think it is day two. Just gotta feel everything off. See what our quests are for today. Unlock this. Make one small bench. Gotcha. I'm trying to feel off if I if I have the crafting area. I don't think so. Ah, yes, I do. There it is. So we need iron nails. Thanks. And if memory serves me right, there we are. Yeah, like I said, it will take me a little bit to get back into routine in this game. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. Alright, we need one more set of iron nails. Perfect. Now we'll just pop back up here. I did try to have these close together on a save file at one point because I have played up until I think day 12. Uh, but it just wasn't the aesthetic that I was hoping to go for in the end. I like to plan ahead pretty far with how things look. Zero. All right. Let's see what we've gotten here so far. Got a bench. Do we have? Yeah, we've got fire going. We've got porridge. All right. Let's let's open. See how busy we get today. Right, I'm used to stockpiling in in my book. It's kind of weird how you can just have food sitting in a book. I know that's the menu, but it always makes me laugh. Ugh, always spilling food. Yeah, so I think the plan for today will just be to complete the quests that we have lined up. I'll focus on unlocking that crafting room and getting that small bench done. I think that would be really helpful. And there's a bit of a lull, so maybe I can go take a look up here, see how that crafting crafting table's coming along. Buy a wall calendar. You know what? I'm actually gonna leave that until I'm done opening the crafting room because priorities. Gotta make sure we get the crafting room open as soon as possible. Just adds a little bit more variety to the day. Usually until there's things like that unlocked. Uh, most of the focus is resources and serving porridge. 
which is totally fine. This game is super relaxing and I really enjoy it. Right, the owner of this place is a cultist. I am definitely not a cultist anymore. <laughs> Alright, we're nearing 11. Um, we should probably check how much I need for opening the crafting room just so we can get on that pretty quick. Um, 40. Awesome. Alright, so we've got the crafting room here. We can now make porridge. Let's move this over here. We can make porridge. Let's get some going. Oh. Get some porridge going. In an early game, they do recommend that you are only open during the day just because of using the resources to keep everything warm and well lit. Uh, I enjoy having my candles around though and getting a jump start on things. Malting machine. Alright. Oh, tavern must be closed. That's right. Well, we'll just throw together some more Porridge. Cellar. I'm excited to have this unlocked. What do we unlock here? Brewing and cooking. Yeah, we're running low on... What's this? Grog? What a delightful name for this. Oh, there we go. I was wondering why that wasn't working. No, no, calm down. Calm down. Oh, kicking him out. That cannot be good. Alright, so, notice I've gotten pretty close to leveling up. Just wondering if I should stay open to level up first and then close. It is only 12.35. Uh, 84 out of 1,000. So, yeah, I think you get like 45 or so reputation. some water soon. I'm not entirely sure how much reputation you get per person, but... Okay, so you do get a decent amount. Let's just... Keep making porridge, because that's most of what we have right now, <laughs> until we level up our reputation and kind of unlock I think the tech trees is what they're called so we're just about there and as soon as we close we'll also lay that down oh, they keep saying I'm a cultist honest to goodness how do they even know not that I am I mean I could be one but you know maybe I'm not I'm just a sweet lady who moved here. There we go. And now we have these tech trees so we can start making a lot more stuff. Right now we can do mild ale, uh, but yeah, I have to use the, the malt thing, so I think that's a quest that needs to be done. We'll do a last call here, close up shop. Wipe down the tables, and then we'll set this up. This can probably be added as well for the comfort that it that it gives off. And we've got a good start for reaching the next level, which hopefully I can aim for tomorrow. That would be ideal. barley. Let's do it. And we'll get some porridge going still. And I definitely need to fill up my water. My water buckets. 
So I should probably get out here, chop some trees, that sort of thing. And I will most certainly get on that. I should check if there's anything I need though. I know I'm supposed to order the wall calendar. Okay, I don't have enough for that yet. Um, yeah, there's certain ingredients. I mean, I know I should start ordering some meat, so I've got a good stockpile of that. As you can tell, I'm a gamer that likes to plan well ahead of things. Keep stocked up. Okay, that will be ready for quite some time. Let's add porridge here. We've got a small bench and a small table that need to be set up. Oops. There we are. Nope, not all of them. Just one. Okay. Let's... these here. Yeah, I think what I'm planning is having the large tables here, having some smaller ones here, and then the couple other small ones right here. But we'll see. We'll see what fits. I know, I think eventually I can kind of expand a little bit, but we shall see. Let's get another candle out here. Um, let's put this over here for now. Well, well the fire's there. There we go. That's a moderately alright setup. Calendar malting. Alright, so the malting will probably be ready before bed. For now, I will collect some resources. I do like that there's a set amount of resources that you collect every day. There's just these ones. I don't know if when the game is fully released if they will have more. Um, I tend not to look at too much for things that are past early access just because you don't know what can change and what they decide to take out or keep in or, or add even. There's a lot to consider when creating games and then having early access. So, I try not to get too ahead of myself. But for the rest of the day, I think it's safe to say resource gathering will be very important. I do enjoy having a stockpile of resources so that when I need something, I don't have to worry too much about going out and gathering. And that way I don't run out the day that I need something or since there's only a limited amount of resources, it would make it quite tricky to need more than what was available that day, if that makes sense. I'll definitely be replanting any, any tree sprouts that I get, like that one. What I love about this game is even when it's been a week or two, it's still relatively simple to get back into. There's no complicated gameplay, there's no, you know, it's not rocket science. It's just, this is what it is, and this is what you do. And there's something that's really soothing about a game like this. Especially as someone who has always dreamt of having a tavern or a diner or <laughs> those kinds of things, which I have very often. I would love 
to have a tavern one day. I don't know if that's in my future at all, <laughs> but for the time being I'll I'll enjoy this game for all it is. Couldn't ask for much more than that. I do enjoy when the fireflies come out. They're very beautiful. So, I think that's it for the trees I can cut down. I'm not sure what time we're at. Oh, we're at 8.10. I do like the 24 hour clock here. I use the 24 hour clock myself, so of course that's something that I prefer. And as much as I would like to say it's for some cool reason, it's... Mostly just because I like the way it looks more and how it's easier and there's no AM, PM thing. But anyway, enough enough of those ramblings. I should probably clear some of this out. We got four sprouts today. That's pretty good. That'll set us up with a good amount of trees. And we've got... Oh, wonderful. We've got these coming in. I would like to grab a chest to put down in the crafting room to store the food into. So, this one's empty, so I'll just move it along, right there, perfect. Let's move all this in here. We'll keep the buckets on. Wonderful. Well, we've got a brewing barrel. Perfect. And got some more porridge going. Let's see if we can get this going overnight. Perfect. We'll top up our water. Let's see, see where we're at after that. It might be an early night tonight. I think it may very well be. I don't believe we'll open again, just because it's already t 10, 20. We've got no more grain. Oh, no we do. We've got two left. Would be good to use up these last two. And see where we're at with these technology trees. Okay, can't get anything there. Get roasting soup or bread. I think I'd like to do roasting. Now we've got a decent variety. Oh, maybe I should grab my from in here. Oh wait, that's the modifiers I need. I don't think can I make them without modifiers? I can. All right, wonderful. Set this down over here and maybe call it a day. We've got a lot of porridge in here. There's a lot going on right now. Everything is cooking. Everything's gonna take a little bit of time. So, yeah, we'll just call it a night.
Wednesday we will probably get around to doing some more things around here, maybe some decor. Uh, probably have the tavern open most of the day since we'll have a good amount of crafting coming through. And yeah, get some orders in for things that we need. Hopefully level this up. But we'll see. We'll see what the day holds. Anyway, I'm off. Thank you so much for tuning into this video, and I will see you next time.